This is the last video of the series of the playlist where we complete 100 CMCQs. So let's see how many header files can we add in a C program. 10, 1 and number of header files, none. Okay, so none is not the answer. We have to include header files for some functionalities to work. One is also not the answer. We have seen many programs in which we write std, io.h and math.h together. 10 is also not the answer. The answer is n, n number of header files. We can include multiple header files in a C program. The header files can repeat. That's it. Let's move to the next question. What will be the output? We have a code over here. Int a equals to 7. Float b equals to 7.6. If a is greater than b, then we have to print just else we have to print f moon. Over here, we are comparing a int with a float variable. So over here, what happens is that the float overrules int and when the comparison happens, it happens like this. 7.0 greater than 7.6. So over here, the condition turns out to be false and else block is executed. So moon will be printed. Moon will be the output of this code. What will be the output? We have a code over here, printf just moon. So many a times people make a mistake and they tick B. Always remember whenever we are dealing with uh, strings, so whatever inside the double quotes is considered to be the value of the string. A space will only come if a space is present inside the string. Over here, we can see that we have two separate strings and none of them are having space. So over here, when the compiler will come to the printf, it will see, okay, we have a string. Then we again have a string. Compiler always ignores the space. This space is ignored by the compiler. This space is ignored by the compiler. In a similar manner, this space is also ignored by the compiler. So it will print just moon without the spaces. What m percent unary operator yields when applied to a variable? A variable's value, a variable's address, a variable binary value or none? The answer over here is P. This symbol is used to yield variable's address. Type def it used for create a type of a function, define the type of the function, define the type of the variable, create a new data type. We use type def to create a new data type name. So the answer is D. Hash include stdi.h, then we have a int main, then we have two int m equals to 20 and we have not assigned a value to n now. Over here we are dealing with ternary operator. So what happens in the ternary operator is that we have a condition over here. Then if the condition is true, this statement runs. And if the condition is false, this statement runs. But the most important thing about ternary operator is that on the left hand side, we need a assignment. Okay, but over here, the left hand assignment is missing so this code will throw a compilation error i have written a so when i run this code the exact error i get is value required as left hand operator of the assignment the right way of this would be n equals to m greater than equal to 10 over here i have written the right way to do this. So always remember whenever we are dealing with ternary operator a assignment is expected at the left hand side. Whenever you do not see assignment it is a error. Let's move on to the next question. 
a null pointer and uninitialized pointer are same okay so over here the answer is false okay so whenever we deal with null pointer null pointer exactly points to zero okay an uninitialized pointer points to random memory locations okay null pointer points to nothing so they have a value as zero whereas uninitialized pointer point to random memory location they can cause errors when we do programming in c language we have to deal precisely with pointers pointers can create many flaws in the programs so make sure whenever you write a code using pointers you allocate and deallocate them properly okay so over here we have a code and we are dealing with switch cases okay always remember switch is not a loop switch is a conditional block so here what happens is that we pass int m equals to 3 inside the switch it will check if anything as case 3 is present okay so over here yes we get a case 3 it will print hey moon and it will it won't uh, okay then it will break so directly the answer will be c hey moon if case 3 was absent then default would have been printed okay so always remember to look for the case number let's move on to the next question maximum number of dimension an array can have in c language a2 b4 c3 decompiler dependent uh, when it comes to dimensions of an array when we're dealing with c language we do not actually have a limit it depends upon compiler to compiler so the answer is d it is compiler dependent okay so over here we again have a switch so we have int m equals to 4 switch m and um, we have a case 4 continue so normally what people do is to do a mistake they see okay in case 4 we have a continue so it will go to case 6 and it will print moon and they tick a but always remember that continue is only allowed when we are dealing with loops when we want to ignore a specific iteration we use continue but here we are dealing with switch and switch is a conditional block a continue is not allowed inside switch statement so whenever a compiler sees a continue inside switch it directly throws an error so the answer will be b error which function converts 7.98 to 7 we have seen similar question before also when we had talked about floor and seal so over here the answer will be c floor to make this thing more sure i have written a code okay so when i we are, i have a code to use floor and seal we have to include a header file of math.h so over here i have a float value 7.98 okay so whenever i uh, pass the value inside the flow function i get 7 okay and whenever i do seal i get 8 so always remember floor and seal they are used to convert float values to their uh, greater than or uh, lesser than whole numbers or you can say integers can a function have two return statement okay so whenever we deal with the function what what happens is that when we write a return statement the compiler gets out of the uh, the block so for example if i have two return statement first is returning hello and the second one is returning bye so when will i when will i return hello it will go out of the block 
the second return statement will be ignored so functionally it won't throw an error so yes we can have two return statements just not successfully it won't be able to return the second statement it will directly jump out of the block okay so 93 again okay, okay fine we have a code over here so we have a main function we have a float value m that is equal to 7.25 we are trying to print different kinds of values for it, it okay so let's see a uh, percent e is used to print the scientific value of the uh, scientific value of the actual value percent f is for the float value and person G is for the short and this is for long float. So over here I have a picture. Hmm. Person E specifies a scientific notation format. Person F specifies a decimal floating point and person G used the short of E or person F. Person LF specifies the long double. So the scientific value from all this option is option number C. Okay, and we all know that we have six digits after the point when we are dealing with float. So let's move ahead. Is there a difference between the following declaration? Okay, so over here we are declaring a function over here. Whenever we write a function in the C language, we have to declare it before defining it. So over here what we are saying to this function is that okay you will return int value and uh, this will be the function's name and inside the function we are telling it we will pass you an array of data type int. So this is a prototype for the function function that accepts one integer array as an parameter and returns an integer value. So the answer is no there is no difference you can write both of them and the both definition will hold true okay so let's see this question we have 95th one over here so uh, we have a if and else block now we all know that till the time i do not pass a zero inside the if my if block will run if I pass 0 inside the if my else block will run so over here the size of the void okay so the size of void returns 1 so hey moon will be printed always remember size of void is 1 the size of the void is generally not considered because void is never used as a type of variable but the GCC compiler returns 1 for the size of void so this if condition will hold true and hey moon will be printed okay we have a code over here again we have a int m and m equals to size of not 7.7 printf person d m so it has a huge explanation but a simple one the computer considers anything which is not 0 as 1. Okay. The computer only understands binary language. Okay. So whenever it doesn't see a 0, it considers this to be 1. Thus, 7.7 .7 also is considered as 1. When you apply a not to it, it turns out to be a 0. Okay. So 0 is an integer. So depending upon the compiler, size of int will be returned and saved inside m and the output will print the size of integer so the answer over here is c We have a void min in i for i equals to 0. We do not have a condition, then we have an increment. Compilation fail, 
moon is lit is printed once moon is lit is printed infinitely random garbage values are printed so d will definitely not be our answer there is no reason for garbage garbage values to be printed it will not throw a compilation error always remember whenever you are dealing with a for loop and no condition is present then the for for loop will always run infinite times so the answer over here will be c moon is lit is printed infinitely okay so on what condition will m less than equal to n be printed so over here we have a if then we have a else and we have three printf statement always remember whenever we are dealing with blocks and the curly braces are absent so the next statement is considered as the block so this printf statement is block for if because no curly braces are included and only this printf is block of else this printf is independent of if or else so the answer is d independent of condition Ninety ninth one. Okay, over here we have int main int main equals to seven. We have printf main return zero. So always remember main is not a keyword in C language. So if you use a variable name as main, the code will run same. If you use any other name as a variable name, so the answer will be C. Runs successfully and prints seven. Okay, so over here we have void function in const m and m equals to seven. Then we have a void main. Okay, so over here we have a function and a main function. We have t equals to twenty. Then we are passing this twenty inside function. So over here. Twenty is coming. Then we have m equals to seven. So error in statement void function int constant. Okay, so they are telling here is a error. But no, this is a right way for declaring a function and or def defining a function's header. Execute successfully. We will think on this later. Error in statement m equals to seven. They are telling we have a error over here. Yes, we have a error over here. We have not defined the data type of variable m. We are not returning if it is a int or a float or a char or something. So the answer is c. Error in statement m equals to seven. Okay, guys, we have completed hundred C MCQs. Thank you for watching.